Hey everyone, it's Ronald's World of Opinions here. So tonight, I read a story about the inauguration of riots and stuff like that in Washington, D.C. And I came across this story about some journalists that got arrested and believe it or not, they got charged with felonies for, you know, covering the story, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Wow, that was surprising to me. Like, there's like four people that got arrested right for covering a story right a story about the riots over there when they did the trump inauguration i'm not going to talk about donald trump anymore that's that's over with uh he's our president and we're gonna let it uh play out play itself out you know i like uh honestly i like the some of the things he's doing so far a couple of things i like that he's doing so far he cut out the Asia, you know, Asia treaty that Obama signed or whatever. So he gutted that out. So that will help the economy a lot. So that's going to help uh, bring in new jobs and that kind of stuff. So that I like. So there's going to be things that um, I'm going to see. I mean, we're going to, you know, we're going to see what he really does. Because this is his first week really over there in office. So let's see what he does. But anyways, back to the riots. I mean... Four gener journalists got arrested for that and they got charged with felony, so they're facing 10 years in jail. Wow, that's crazy, honestly. So, you know, they were covering a story, right, about this whole thing. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty, pretty sad to see. To be honest, like, you're doing your job and now it's really like you can't do your job anymore because. You gotta worry about being arrested for a felony. I'm like, that's pretty crazy. That's their job and that's their livelihood. I mean, they were not doing the riots themselves. They were just reporting a story and they got they got charged with a felony. That's pretty sad. That's my take on this, though. Ten years in jail for that. Whew, man, you gotta think. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know what to make of this. This is it's pretty sad. But anyways, you know, let's see what happens with this stuff. Let's see how it plays out in court. Hopefully they don't get a convicted for doing a job, but anyways, you know, I don't know I don't know the whole story. I don't know what they actually did, you know. Maybe they did something, I don't know. So, we'll we'll see what happens. Because, you know, I don't know the whole story. The only people that know is those guys who got arrested and got charged with a felony and the police. Only those guys know what really happened there, so that's pretty much it. Well, anyways, you know, hopefully they, you know, hopefully this thing got, uh, hopefully we get the whole story and see what really happened because nobody really knows. Well, that was really surprising to me that that happened. If anything, the people who should be in jail are the guys who did the riots in the first place. Those guys are stupid though, man. Why you gotta go there? I mean, to protest some political belief, it's stupid, honestly. You know, it's stupid. Why you gotta go there, protest, and ride on something like that? It's stupid. Honestly, those guys should be in jail, and they should be locked up for a long time, honestly. These guys should get 15, 20 years for that, honestly. But anyways, you know, this is my take on this whole thing. Well, that's pretty sad. It's a sad story, but anyways, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens in court with those journalists. If anything... Those guys who got who's doing the riots and doing all that stuff, they should be punished and punish them to the to the extent of the law because that was dumb, you know, and, and stupid. Alright, folks. I will see you in the next episode. Talk to you later. Peace.